Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can use this new formula called find. So it's actually quite useful when it comes to relation. So previously when you have like a row up, you can't actually select what you want to show. So here it actually allows you to try to match the certain conditions and then you'll show something. So I'm going to show you how we can use it. And here you're looking at two databases here. So we have one database called Pokemon and then one is called search. So for the Pokemon database, you kind of have the Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, it's kind of like their first uh, form. So if you didn't play Pokemon, and then they have like different evolutions. So this is for their first evolution, Charmeleon, Watertoe, Ivysaur, and then they have the second evolution, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. So I have this search uh, database here. So how we can actually use this is that, so for example, if I type Squirtle, so you see that automatically it actually shows up Watertoe and Blastoise. And then if I just kind of change it to Bulbasaur. So same thing, it shows Ivysaur and Venusaur. So in terms of how the formula works, so for find, right, if you just type find, you can see it's written here, uh, find. So there's actually a, something called list. So you can see ABC here. So you can think of ABC is equivalent of Pokemon, what we have here. So instead of ABC, we have Charmander, Squirtle, and then Bulbasaur. And then there's something called current here. So this is actually something new as well. So basically, current is actually referring to the list here that we have. So ABC actually equals to current, and then current equals to B. So it means that it kind of loop to find anything that equals to B, and then you kind of show it to you. So to just show you an example, right? So we have um, find, and then instead of uh, selecting ABC, you want to reference for Pokemon, right? So we want to reference the list or the uh, relation. So here you can actually just select Pokemon. So this is our properties, right? And then you can type the same thing. So current. And then we can just type um, just reference to our, let me just type it out directly. So Bulbasaur. So ideally it should show, right? So you can see it's actually not showing up because we're actually kind of not referring to the correct things. So when it comes to relations, there are indexes and different things. This doesn't quite work like this. So how you actually need to do is, instead of typing this out this way, so what you need to do is actually selecting the Pokemon first. So you need to have the Pokemon. So you can see Charmander, Squirtle is kind of showing you what's inside. And then we type find. And then this is actually where we find type current. So current. And then you want to type, because we want to compare to name, right? So current.name. So this is actually where you can get a name equals to our name property here. So we can select name. Then that's close. So what you're gonna see is actually see the Pokemon name. So you can see when I type Bulbasaur, it actually shows Bulbasaur. If I just type Squirtle, it shows up Squirtle. But I kind of don't want it to show the same thing. It doesn't kind of make sense or this its purpose. So we want to show the second. So in this case, we want to show the first evolution. So what I can do is just at the end just to dot, and then select first evolution, and then there you get it. We get a water roll. So in this new notion formulas, you can actually use uh some the dot notation so basically just add a dot right you can actually advance your formulas to actually include more specific things so as you go longer and longer you can actually add more and more stuff so this will be further explored in the future uh, videos but just to give you a very quick examples like maybe i want to change the style of this font right instead of this font i want to kind of change something different so you can actually type dot style and then let me think maybe you want to change it to a unicode so hopefully it works. I want to so we want to change to maybe I'll change to blue color. So you can see it's changed to blue now. So as you type more, the more and more you can kind of add on, add on, add on. That's kind of how it works. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if it's helpful, so please like and subscribe. Thank you.